In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to make a basic 8 inch by 8 inch ADA compliant sign from start to finish. ADA signs can be created using any vision engraver or router with the engraving head, but the automatic raster braille inserter can only be used on the 16 series and larger machines. For this project, we're using our 1624 engraver and series 3 controller the automatic raster braille inserter to insert the braille rasters, and our Vision Pro software. This software includes the ADA Assistant, which helps ensure that all fonts, characters, and braille text will comply with government regulations. We are using two sheets of engraving plastic, a white 1 32nd inch sheet with an adhesive backing for the raised elements, and a 1 16th inch sheet in a contrasting color for the background. We are also using white braille rasters for the braille text. We are using the Vision Multimat to hold our plastic material onto the table. To cut out the raised elements, we will use a flex cutter with a small tip of 20 thousandths. To drill the holes for the braille rasters, we will use a 60 thousandths parallel cutter. To start, power on the Series 3 controller. On the controller's front panel, press the Go to Home button to initialize the system. Place the 1 16th inch plastic material for the background onto the table in the top left corner. Use the arrows on the controller to move the spindle somewhere out over the material. We can now zero the cutters, or set the cutters flush with the bottom of the nose cone so we can use the micrometer to set the engraving depth in our job. Each click of the micrometer is one thousandths of depth, and each complete revolution is twenty-five thousandths of depth. Back off the micrometer at least two revolutions from the top to allow a depth of up to 50 thousandths. It's also best to start with the micrometer at zero for reference. We'll start by zeroing the parallel cutter. Loosen the set screw on the cutter knob and move the cutter up about two inches. Tighten the set screw to hold it there. Put the cutter into the spindle by threading it counterclockwise. Now lower the spindle until the nose cone touches the material and the tension spring compresses slightly. Loosen the cutter set screw while holding on to the cutter. Gently lower the cutter until it touches the material and tighten the screw. This sets the cutter flush with the bottom of the nose cone. Use the Z up jog button to raise the spindle off the material. Now remove this cutter from the spindle. The holes for the braille rasters are drilled at 42 thousandths, and the raised elements are cut at 35 thousandths. Therefore, the raised elements are cut at 7 thousandths less depth. If we rotate the micrometer minus 7 clicks before we zero the flex cutter, it will be set at 7 thousandths less depth than the parallel cutter. This means we only have to set the micrometer once for the whole job. When we dial 42 clicks to the right, or 42 thousandths, for the braille cutter, the flex cutter will be at 35 thousandths. We will now zero the flex cutter. Rotate the micrometer seven clicks. Loosen the set screw on the cutter knob and move the cutter up about two inches. Tighten the set screw to hold it there. Put the cutter into the spindle by threading it counterclockwise. Now lower the spindle until the nose cone touches the material and the tension spring compresses slightly. Loosen the set screw while holding on to the cutter. Gently lower the cutter until it touches the material and tighten the set screw. This sets the cutter flush with the bottom of the nose cone. Leave this cutter in the spindle. Press the go to home button. You can now dial the micrometer to 42 clicks past zero and leave it there for the whole job. We set the surface for the braille pen attachment to establish the amount of pressure used to insert the braille rasters. Use the arrows on the controller to again move the spindle somewhere out over the material. Insert the braille pen into the bracket and locate it correctly by rotating it until the pin on the bracket enters the hole in the ring. Do not tighten the nut that locks the pen in place at this time. Lower the spindle until the braille pen rises above the adapter and the ring is almost flush with the top of the locating pin. There should be about a 1 16th inch gap between the ring of the pen and the bracket. On the controller, press the set surface button and press enter to set. 
The spindle will raise up slightly, indicating that the surface has been set. Lift the pin high out of the way and lock in place by tightening the nut on the bracket. Press the Go to Home button to send the spindle back to the home position. Attach the 1 32nd inch material with adhesive to your background material. We can offset the material slightly down and to the right to make the removal easier after we cut out the raised elements. On your PC, make sure the job server is connected to your machine and open the Vision Pro software. Several ADA compliant templates are included with the software. They can be modified to create custom ADA compliant signs. For this project, we will open one of the ADA compliant templates. We need to create tool paths to cut the raised elements and drill the holes for the braille rasters. Press F3 to select all objects in the job. To create a tool path, select Engrave from the menu at the top of the screen. Next, select Create Tool Path and choose the ADA Profile option. Select the cutting tool we are using to cut the raised elements in the sign. In this example, the 20,000th engraver. Click on the three dot box next to the depth to set the depth of the tool path to 35 thousandths at one pass. Now the software can automatically calculate where to place the tool path so the raised elements will be ADA compliant. The job is now ready to send to the machine. In the software, choose Engrave from the menu at the top of the screen and select ADA Plot. Choose the Cut Raised Elements to bring up the Job Preview and the Cut Toolbox. In the Cut Toolbox, the Vacuum, Proximity Sensor or Prox, and the Spindle should be on. Choose the last icon on the right side of the Cut Toolbox, the Engrave icon, to send the job to the machine. You should see a green light flashing on the Series 3 controller. Push the Start button to begin the cutting of the raised elements. When the cutting is done, take a brush and brush away any debris that is stuck to the sign before removing the excess material. Now pull off the excess, leaving the letters and images. If your sign has letters that require additional material removal, Use a tool such as a flat tip screwdriver for weeding. Remove the flex cutter from the spindle and place the braille cutter into the spindle. In the software, choose Engrave from the menu at the top of the screen and select ADA Plot. Choose the Cut Braille Text to bring up the job preview and the cut toolbox. In the cut toolbox, the vacuum, Proximity sensor or prox, spindle, and braille icons should be on. Choose the last icon on the right side of the cut toolbox, the engrave icon, to send the job to the machine. You should see a green light flashing on the Series 3 controller. Push the start button to begin the drilling of the braille holes. When the holes are finished, the Series 3 controller will ask you to lower the braille inserter. Loosen the nut on the bracket to lower the pin into place and tighten the nut again to lock it there. Press Start to insert the braille rasters into the holes. If you do not have an automatic inserter, you can insert the beads manually using the raster braille pin. When the rasters are all inserted, the Series 3 controller will ask you to raise the braille inserter. Lift the pin high out of the way and lock in place by tightening the nut on the bracket. Press Start to complete the job. With this, you have completed an 8-inch by 8-inch ADA compliant sign.